We are Amber and Eli, and for the past two years, we've been converting a school bus into our future tiny home. We got power! <laughs> this week, we will be doing something we have never done before. Getting a friend to do the job. We have pizza for you. Eli's dad brought this scrap home a few years ago, always with the thought it would be used for the extension. So the plan for our extension is to only use the material we have currently, which includes the C-channel and a bit of angle iron. Matthew will split this beam and weld it directly to the frame of the bus. <laughs> difficult part of this project was the wind. In a more professional setting, the bus would be in a shop, but we don't have access to a large enough one. Matthew used a stitch pattern to weld the C-channel onto the frame. At this time, we were preparing for schoolie swarm. 
I was building a couch and Eli had been attempting to fix the S10 for nearly a week. He called Chance to tow it away. Hey! We were going to be without a vehicle, but a fellow bus dweller was passing through our town to say hello. And he graciously let us borrow his car for the next few weeks. Thank you. All right. I appreciate it. All right. No problem. Peace out. Bye -bye. After the other C-channel was welded the following day, Matthew then began figuring out the support setup. We decided we would be putting the supports parallel to the bumper so that the deck boards would be perpendicular and offer an even wear when riding our bikes on it. We also agreed it would be easiest if we attached the bumper flush with the C-channel so that the deck boards would sit right on top. trash brush we found it um, in an old toolbox with a bunch of other stuff 
uh, while we were cleaning out the trailer. So uh, this is oil based, so it will ruin the brush. You cannot wash oil based paint off, so um, just keep that in mind. Don't use a good brush. We are T minus nine days till schoolie swarms. So it's gonna rain for the next five. And it's gonna start in the morning, probably late tonight. So that's why I wanna get this done today. Uh, I originally asked Amber to do it, but it's gonna rain. So I would like to put wood on the next day of sunshine we have, which may be in a week. So here we are. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse because I'm running out of memory. Come on, Roxy. deck is done and ready for wood so uh i've got about four hours maybe three hours until the sun goes down and the rain starts so i'm gonna try to get this done before then i'm gonna put you on a time lapse because you suck So, just a little FYI, a little tip, a little trick of the trade. Uh, treated wood needs to touch. Treated wood is full of chemicals and it will dry in four to six months. Um, it will be a lot drier than this and in just a few months, um, you'll get a gap, about a quarter of an inch of a gap. So, if you don't want gaps bigger than a quarter of an inch, the boards need a butt to each other, butt to butt. And then that way when it dries out, you know, it won't be that big of a crack. Anyway, I have about 30 inches left of wood to put, and I've got two boards left, which if my calculations are correct, I cannot mess up one of them because then I will not have enough. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get these cut out. I'm going to get them laid out here. I'm going to start screwing it down. Wish me luck. <laughs> 